Hello everybody. An ancient wisdom tells us, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on you. That doesn't sound right. Let's try once again. Hello everybody. An ancient wisdom tells us, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Now, how do we call a situation where we get fooled three times by the same entity? Because I'm kind of expecting that it's one of those things where you get treated with the funky kind of medicine because, you know, repeating the same mistake over and over and over again is probably not a sign of mental health. However, that's precisely what I did and you know what I did because you saw the title so as much as this, well, intro is very smart and eloquent, well, let's get right into business. Uh, Alright, before I start droning incoherently about these, these are Sensa Empire Pro 2x12 road shifters, or road drifters actually, integrated brake levers and shifters as Shimano calls them. I would like to justify my decision making because I might come out as somewhat well, demented after buying something from Sensa when I was kind of underwhelmed with the previous offering from this company. Here's the deal. If I want 12-speed drivetrain on my ultimate gravel bike, and I want 12-speed drivetrain on my ultimate gravel bike because I'm not going to be riding 11-speed like an animal or some uncultured plebs, then I've got three choices. Choice number one is to make a red paint made out of freshly pummeled corpses of puppies and kittens and make a viral video of me painting a huge red SRAM logo in order to appease the company. However, I am fresh out of puppies and kittens and I don't know whether that's going to be evil enough to appease that particular entity. So that's out of question. Now, I could buy from Campaniello, however, that's kind of expensive, kind of difficult to get and I guess that the set of shifters and the derailleur from Record or whatever that 12 speed is available is going to push me back more than that entire bicycle is worth, which doesn't seem like a good allocation of my money. And of course, three, wait until Shimano takes its time and releases Dura Ace, then Ultigra, then 105, and then I can get 105 in 12 speed. Probably in two years, knowing how Shimano takes its time with everything. So, what is my other option? Well, my other option is to get a set of these. I have spent $110 to get them. They arrived here in about approximately two weeks. And now I have them and I am kind of skittish because as you can imagine, my previous, well, my previous experiences with this company aren't pretty really great. So, and well, there's always this issue that uh, this kind of a shifter is, uh, well, and this group set, or the 11 version of this group set, is known to be breaking inside, at least when it comes to the front shifters. If you saw the video from the channel Trace Velo, you know what I'm talking about. So I was kind of, well, worried that I'm not going to get something that actually works. However, it's here, so let's start the review. Let's start the size comparison. This is Shimano Ultigra 6600, 10 speed. And if we compare the Sensa Empire Pro, you will notice that uh, the reach of the brifter is a little further. Uh, the hook here and the, I know, the top of the shifter is a little higher on the Shimano here. So as you can see, the, it's kind of a different profile. And this valley he is, here is much more pronounced on the Sensa and with the shape of the lever here is different. Here you have it almost directly downward and the Shimano is kind of curved. Obviously this is different on Shimano than on Sensa. They were going to get there in a minute. The thickness of the shifter in, the, in where you hold it is come on, is 30 mil, 31 millimeters on Shimano and is 32 millimeters on the sensor. So this is a little bit girthier than this. I kind of like it, however, take into account that my hands are, well, bigger than your usual hands because I am a tall guy. Now, uh, however, if we compare this, for example, to a, I don't have them anymore, but if we would compare them to, for example, Micro Shift Aussies, 11 speed shifters, then they were much smaller and much sleeker than these and these, so, this is kind of a thicker side than these, but 
the difference is very minor. Obviously, the ergonomy is different, the shape of the lever is also different. Alright, let's start with the most important question of all. Will they run crisis? Of course they won't, those are shifters for a bicycle. Why would you ask something so silly? Now, how much do they weigh? This is my scale, or this is our scale, they are almost family to me. Should I continue with this ego inflation? Anyhow, 491 grams for a set with cables which came uh, with the shifters in a box. Unfortunately the box was kind of generic because I guess that the nice box sensor only includes with the full set with the front and rear derailleur. I don't have those. Anyhow, uh, as, you can, as you can notice here, uh, the rubber on the tops is textured for your holding pleasure and it's textured in a manner that it should resist twisting motions of your hand. So this is a good thing. What is the shifting action? This, these shifters are working in the manner of SRAM shifters, which means that the first initial lever throw is going to shift to a lower gear or a smaller cog, and you need to push the lever further to start shifting to bigger ones. Now, I can't say how much trimming you have here because I don't have them installed on the bike. This is the front shifter, as you can already notice. However, there is some trimming involved, so that's a good thing. When it comes to the rear shifter, it works in the same manner, so this is shifting to a faster gear, and then you have one. Ah. Unfortunately, I don't have enough fingers to push more. One, two, and unfortunately, three, I think. Three is the maximum, however. Even I can't reach so far, maybe it's going to be easier once it's on a bar. So, two gears are definitely possible, three if you have very long fingers. Unfortunately, if my fingers aren't long enough, yours most likely aren't either. However, whether it is a fault of the shifters or fault of the what they were copying, I don't know, I don't have any strap shifters. Alright, let's talk construction here. Uh, the main body is made out of plastic. Uh, the lever and the, uh, most of the elements inside are made out of metal. Uh, the, this metal element here is resting against the body quite rigidly, so if you're going to be bumping this against stuff, this is going to work perfectly, it's going to protect uh, the inside of the shifter. Now, if you want to know whether the element that is failing on those shifters is also going to fail here, no it's not, because this element, I'm going to show, you, show it to you, this element here, which is the element that failed in the trace velo test, uh, there, his, test, his shifter had this made out of carbon fiber or some sort of plastic or polymer. This thing is made out of aluminum and I have specifically asked the seller whether this is made out of aluminum. And I had confirmation that Sensa is now shifting, or shifting, shifting those shifters with this element made out of metal. So, no need to worry about this. Uh, oh, and uh, the rubber hood here is seems to be very thick and isn't perfectly fitted to the to the shifter but seems to be pretty well well pretty well matched to the overall size of the entire item so there's nothing flapping here although it's not perfect i guess but yeah you can't expect perfect from one hundred dollars or anything when it comes to quality there doesn't seem to be any any play that isn't well uh, needed or being taken out by a spring however there are a few blemishes, there is a little pitting here, there are some scratches, or not scratches, and brushing of, of the aluminum here and on the other shifter. I guess that it's just cosmetic, doesn't seem to be causing much of an issue, but overall, it, what can I say, you know, it's not perfect, but it's working and it's just cosmetic, so, you know, stuff. Anyhow, the initial impression appears to be very good, they seem to be very solid, I hope they're going to work perfectly, I'm kind of worried whether this action I'm going to get used to this. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, this is working correctly, so I got eleven clicks for twelve years. And by the way, if you're wondering, uh, these shifters are compatible with Shimano 11 speed system, so Sensa 11 speed and Sensa 12 speed are going to work with Shimano GRX and Shimano Road stuff. 
And I guess that uh, micro shift 11 speed rope stuff is also going to work, but I don't have access to it, so I can't check. What I'm going to be using those is most likely going to be Shimano GRX or Shimano 105. I haven't decided yet. Well, and I think that's about it from this preview. I can't tell you much more about these because, well, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with them, at least from the get-go. So if they're going to suck, they're going to suck once I fit them to a bike and try to use them. However, from the initial impression, I have to say that it seems to be pretty good. Well, we'll see. I told the same about the SRX now, didn't I? Anyhow. I hope you like this video, I hope you're going to share this around, and I hope to see you on the next one where I'm going to be reviewing something else, also from China.